In this uh, first question, a rock is thrown from the ground level at 18 meters per second, and this is at 25 degrees above the horizontal. And we need to find the vertical and horizontal components of its launch velocity. Okay, so if we're talking about the vertical velocity vector, that's going to be denoted uh, Vy. And if we're looking for the horizontal uh, velocity component, that's denoted Vx. And in my diagram below, uh, the red vector there, that's the uh, launch uh, velocity, which is 18 meters per second. And this is happening at 25 degrees above the horizontal. Okay, so uh, this blue vector here represents my horizontal uh, launch velocity, which is Vx. And we can find that by taking the launch velocity, which is 18, and we times that by cos of the angle, which is 25 degrees. And if we go to a uh, calculator for this particular answer here, we should get about 16.313 uh, meters per second. So that's going to be uh, option B over there, roughly. And we're finding the uh, vertical uh, velocity component. Uh, we can find that by taking the launch velocity, which was 18. And instead of cos, uh, we times it by sine of the angle. And that's going to be sine of 25 degrees. And uh, if we put that into a calculator, we should get roughly 7.607 meters per second. And that's going to be roughly option B there. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the uh, fir very first question. And let's move on to the next one. In this uh, next question, we have a projectile that's launched with a velocity of 35 meters per second at 55 degrees above the horizontal. And we want to find the maximum height reached by the projectile. And we ignore friction in this problem. Okay, so uh, this is our launch velocity right here, denoted in red, and that's going to be at 35 meters per second. And the angle is going to be uh, 55 degrees above the horizontal. So this angle right here is 55 degrees. Okay, so in this particular problem, uh, we are technically starting at, uh, let's just say A, and we are interested in finding the maximum height, right? So we're going from A to B. So if I'm going from A to B, uh, we are going in the up direction. Okay, so if I wanna find my initial uh, velocity for this particular problem, it's actually the horizontal, sorry, the vertical velocity component, which is Vy. Okay, so your initial velocity for these kind of problems is going to be your vertical velocity component, which is Vy. And in order to find Vy, um, this is going to be equal to the uh, launch velocity, which is 35. And then we multiply by sine of the angle, which is 55 degrees. Okay, so if we uh, calculate all that, we should get roughly 28.67 meters per second. So that is actually your initial velocity for this particular problem. And then once we once we reach the maximum height at point B, your final velocity is going to be zero, just like the other previous kinematic problems. And since we're going uh, up, we are affected by uh, the acceleration due to gravity. And since we're going up, I like to put a negative sign there, so it's going to be negative nine point eight zero meters per second squared. Okay, and we want to find the uh, maximum height, so we're just solving for the distance here. Okay, so this right here will represents, uh, represent uh, the uh, maximum height there, which is denoted by this variable d. Okay, so now we've got to find a kinematics equation that relates all this information together, and that's going to be this kinematic equation right here, which is uh, your final squared equals to your initial squared plus two times the acceleration times the distance there. Okay, uh, this is going to be a zero to the power of two, and uh, I guess your initial velocity here is going to be a bracket 28.67, and we can square that, uh, plus 2 times the acceleration, which is negative 9.80, and then we've got to solve for d there. Okay, so now we've got to solve this particular equation here. Um, I can bring uh, this particular term to the other side. If I do that, we should get a negative value there, so negative uh, 28.67 to the power of 2, and that equals to two times bracket negative 9.80 times the distance there. Okay, and if, you want, if I want to solve for the distance there, it's going to be this particular number here. And then we just simply divide by two times negative 9.80. Okay, and uh, once we do that, uh, the maximum height reached here is roughly 41.938 meters. So if you round that up, that's roughly about 42 meters. So that is the maximum height for this particular problem. 
Okay, let's move on to the next uh, projectile question here. In this uh, next problem, a projectile is launched over level ground with a speed of 240 meters per second at 35 degrees to the horizontal. And uh, if we just ignore friction, we want to find the height of the projectile 17 seconds after launch. Okay, so let's take a look, a look at this particular problem here. Uh, so we're given a launch velocity of 240 meters per second. So that's denoted by this red vector here. So 240 meters per second. And this is happening at 35 degrees to the horizontal. And for these particular problems, when a projectile is being launched up into the air at an angle, we definitely need the vertical velocity compo component, which is VY. And I guess for this particular problem, we're starting at A, and uh, 17 seconds later, maybe the projectile now is at maybe at point B. So if we're considering from A to B, this projectile is going in the up direction. Okay. And uh, whenever uh, an object to be, is being thrown up into the air, we need like the initial velocity here, which is actually going to be our vertical velocity component. And we find that by taking uh, our launch velocity, which is 240, and times it by sine of the angle, so sine of 35 degrees. And if we put that into a calculator, we get 137.66 meters per second, or six meters per second, yeah. So that is your initial velocity there. Um, and then since we're going up into the air, uh, it is affected by acceleration due to gravity. So we'll put a negative sign there because it's going the upwards direction. And that's going to be negative 9.80 meters per second squared. And then uh, we also know that the time is going to be uh, 17 seconds. Okay, so uh, using all this information here, uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to find the distance traveled here. So we need a kinematic formula that relates all of this. And the kinematic equation that we're going to be using is uh, this one here, which is distance equals to your initial speed times your time plus one half a t squared. Okay, and then from here on, you can just kind of plug the numbers into your little formula here, and this should all work out. So uh, this is going to be 137.66 times uh, 17 seconds plus one half times negative uh, 9.80. And then we also times that by 17 seconds and we raise that to the power of two. So uh, we would put all that into the uh, calculator there and we should get 924.092 meters. And feel, feel, feel free to round that to the nearest whole number or to two decimal places. Uh, okay, so that's it for that one. Let's move on to the next one here. And for this particular question here, we have another projectile that's launched over level ground at 35 meters per second at an angle of 40 degrees above the horizontal. So just like the previous questions, uh, the launch velocity here is going to be 35 meters per second. And this is happening at 40 degrees above the horizontal. And we want to find the projectiles, the projectiles time of flight. Okay. And uh, just like the other previous problems, we definitely need the vertical velocity component there. And uh, what's happening for this particular problem is uh, we might want to think about the problem like this. We start at A and we finish here at B. So if we can find the time travel from A to B, um, then uh, that time is going to be the same time as going from B to C, right? Okay, so let's analyze this problem by looking at the direction of going from A to B first. So from A to B, we're, we're going in the upwards direction. So we definitely need like a, this initial velocity here, which is actually your vertical velocity component, Vy, and that's gonna be equal to the 35 meters per second, which is the launch, launch velocity, and we times that by sine of the angle, which is sine of 40 degrees. Okay, so 35 times sine of 40 degrees, uh, we gotta figure out what uh, that roughly is. Uh, I believe that's gonna be roughly 22. Um, 498 meters per second. And then uh, if we get to uh, point B, when we're going the upper's direction, your final velocity at point B is gonna be zero, okay? And since we're going the upper's direction, we know that the acceleration due to gravity is gonna be negative 9.80 meters per second squared. Okay, and I suggest that we definitely find how long it's gonna take to go from A to B. Okay, so uh, there's your information right there, and now we need a kinematic formula that relates uh, all this information together, and that's this one here. 
So you can think of this as a, your final speed equals to your initial speed plus uh, acceleration times the time. Okay, uh, we know that at point B, the final velocity or speed there is gonna be zero. Uh, your initial speed here is gonna be 22.498 plus the acceleration due to gravity in this problem is gonna be negative 9.80 and we times that by time. Okay, um, so um, if I just uh, kind of solve for this uh, particular equation here, um, I can bring the 22.498 to the other side. So that's going to be negative 22.498 equals to bracket negative 9.80 times your time. Divide both sides by negative 9.8. So eventually when you do this, you should get a positive answer because you're taking a negative number and dividing by another negative number. Okay. And uh, it's going to take, this is roughly going to be 2.2. 9.56 seconds. Okay, so uh, what that really means is uh, if I'm going from A to B, so if I'm going from A to B here, then this uh, motion there uh, highlighted there in the uh, yellow font there, that's going to take 2.2956 seconds. So from B to C is going to take another 2.2956 seconds. So uh, in total, we need times this by two, and the total time of travel here is going to be 4.59 seconds.